Prescott Cables, the Reds are returning to league action as they take on Runcorn Town at Pavilions. In previous meetings between the two teams, it's the hosts who have come out on top, winning all five of the previous matchups. Barry Williams Walton gives it to Mahama, who looks to feed Madden first time. Madden on the half volley, but it's straight to Wills with the goalkeeper. Well, they never. Races away from Humphreys, bears down on Kasbarin's goal, goes for the near post, and Kasbarin gets across, makes a save and turns it behind for the corner. The corner. Harris makes the interception, bursts into the run for half, gives it to Madden, who gives the return back to Harris, who's continued his run. His pass laid them into the box, he squares it for Barry, first time shot, but it's too close to Wills, he does well to hang on to it. It right to Wilkinson, who knocks it past Kinsey, and now he's got plenty of space in front of him to attack. Looks up, puts a cross into the back of the area where he finds Mahama. Good control, creates the space for the shot, fires into the near post, and Wills has to get down and make the save. Turns away from Harris too easily. Feeds McShane inside the box. Squares it for Potter. He's got a clear shot on goal, but he skies it over the bar. What a chance for Potter to give Gronkle and Town the lead. Long thrown into the box. Dealt with by a combination of Humphreys and Picton. Avon now hooks it back into the area. Nobody gets ahead onto it and it drops to Potter, first time strike, but it's straight to Kasparian. It's a little bit close, but we're going to step back just to squeeze it back to Dalton. Goes down by Madden. Madden's pressure is paid off and he feeds Barry, who lines up the shot and he fires it past Wills into the corner to give AFC Liverpool the lead. Four minutes into this second half. The Reds were the better team in the first half but couldn't turn their dominance into a goal. However, that can't be said at the start of this second half as Madden's pressure causes the mistake and Barry finishes with clinical accuracy. to Madden, Humphreys has continued his run and Madden's found him, Wills is off his line but Humphreys fires past him to double AFC Liverpool's lead. River Humphreys grabs his first goal of the season, great initiative shown by the central defender to take the attack to run court town and when he received the return pass from Madden he finished with all the surety of a centre forward. Hammer 
turns away from the Dalton feeds it to Barry. He's brought down with a reckless challenge. That's a free kick to AFC Liverpool. Kick from Anthony. And the delivery is found by Hammer. And that's a brilliant save by Wills to deny the Reds winger. World-class goalkeeping by Carl Wills there to keep the score to 2 now. Madden fires the corner in, Wilkinson doesn't quite get it right, comes out to Picton and sets himself up for the shot, flicked on by Mahama, once again Wills denies him and keeps his team in the game. Madden plays it short to Barry, gives it back to his strike partner. To Wilkinson, who turns for Kenny, and now Barry takes over, tries to get a shot away, but it's blocked and goes behind for another red corner. Layden finds McShane and holds off the challenge of hand to feed Dio. Overruns it though, and it's picked off by Picton. A little bit fortunate there, but that's a nice little bit of skill. And now the Reds can counter. Picton feeds Madden. Wilkinson's racing to join him, and Madden finds him. Wilkinson is quickly closed down by Wills, and he makes the save to deny the Reds winger. Hand with the long free kick finds Wilkinson. He squares it to Barry. First time shot, and once again, Wills makes the save. How long can this keeper keep his team in the game? Shane backs it inside to Shanley. He looks to find the run of McGrath, but it's cut out by Robertson. Shanley though picks it up, goes over the challenge of Humphreys. The referee instantly blows his whistle and points to the spot and awards Runcorn Town a penalty and a way back into this match. Yeah. James McShane to strike it and he puts it into the opposite corner to which Kasbarian dives and Runcorn Town grab a goal back and frankly they don't deserve it. and then fires it past Wills to restore AFC Liverpool's two goal lead. Francis Barry grabs his second of the evening, his fifth of the season. Lovely little bit of skill to knock it past Dalton and kept his cool as Wills advanced. And AFC Liverpool are once again back in control of this match. So gives it to Shanley. He's forced down into the corner by Harris. Shanley though does well to squeeze past two challenges. Falls over as Picton comes across. Referee though blows his whistle and points to the spot and awards Longcorn Town a second penalty of the evening with quite frankly a ridiculous decision. Shanley falls over. It's outside the area. There's no contact. What is the referee thinking? And it's McShane with a chance to put pressure on the Reds for the final couple of minutes of this match. As it goes for the opposite corner, Kasbarian gets down to make the save. And justice has been served. James McShane went to the opposite corner from which he scored his last penalty, but he didn't fool Matthew Kasbarian. And AFC Liverpool are going to get the result from this match that, quite frankly, they deserve. Great performance by the team tonight. Yeah, it worked very hard. It's been a long time coming, but we all believed in ourselves and um, 
tonight being the night. Not much luck off the referee, but we had to work hard and dig deep to get it. Could have been a lot more had it not been for their keeper. Could have been for any. The front, front four, front six uh, linked up well and we just deserved it. We put our chances away this, this time. We put, we've had a lot of chances through, throughout the past few games, but it just hasn't broke our way. As I said, it's been a long time coming and uh, we'll probably put a string of results together now. Uh, never let Runcon have a second to rest, did you? No, we, we, we knew the only plays um, Route 1 really and we knew that from the off so we kind of set our stall out and um, as I said before we linked up well at the front so it just gave us um, more time around the, around the defence just to kind of work around them, they couldn't really live with us especially for Annie and uh, Lou up front played as well. Uh, dominated the first half but couldn't convert your chances but you never let that get you down and came out for the no, second half still firing? No, not at all. We went, we, we went into the, the um, changes at half time and you know, we were up, we, we were like that on against Prescott but it just didn't turn our way again without the, without the luck of the ref. Uh, but today we just kept our heads up just same as we did against Prescott but we've carried on converting chances and we put them away. 3-1, that result was uh, definitely deserved for you. From start to finish, um, the lads have performed absolutely tremendous. Uh, our play, our will to win, our desire to get on the ball, our desire to get crosses, shots in, everything about tonight was absolutely fabulous. Uh, one or two supporters just said to me that's one of the best performances we've had since uh, the club being performed. Uh, it's a credit to the lads that I had to put out there because tonight I had six possibly seven, well six, missing from Saturday. Uh, but what it does tell me is that the squad's not that bad, if and when all fit from suspensions. Uh, but hopefully now, hopefully we can sort of push on a little bit, um, rather than stop and start, stop and start. Uh, but tonight was absolutely tremendous. Uh, one person I'd like to mention is Fran Barry. Uh, I put the goal on the two, and the lads should have scored four, maybe five tonight. Their keeper's been absolutely tremendous again. Uh, as he was last year, um, but you know, I thought we were absolutely tremendous. Uh, sometimes red fails me in football, but that was bob on. That was great. Uh, got the uh, got the win. The performance deserved, didn't they? Yeah, I mean, you know, it'd have been harsh. I mean, they've got two dubious penalties. Um, you know, sort of. I've lost my head on one of them, and uh, why where I've gone type thing, but. It's just decisions again, but you know I'm not going to talk about the referees because it takes away from what we done. We we were absolutely from ma every man jack of them was absolutely bob on tonight, and it's a credit to them, and it's a credit to the lads uh, that performed tonight. If they play like that, they won't have no problems. Uh, first to the baller, uh, never let Runcorn rest. Well, you know when you come to Runcorn, you know what you're going to get. Um, not being disrespectful, them, but if you can deal with the kid up front, Max Shea, then you've got a bit of a chance. But then again, I had two players up front who was willing to work. Uh, one of them's got the two goals, uh, and and our second goal was sublime. Uh, the pass and moving, uh, River Humphreys was absolutely outstanding. And for him to finish a goal the way he did, and uh, his composure to finish uh, for a centre half, it's not bad. Uh, but. We, we played really, really well tonight and I'm really, really happy uh, because it's another three points of what we're, where we want to go. Uh, and hopefully, you know, like I've always said, once we get the whole squad together, then I've always said we'll be OK. Where we go in the league, <coughs> you know, we'll find out in a couple of months' time or, you know, after 15 games, let's say, and then we'll, we'll have a look at it. Uh, but absolutely tremendous tonight. Uh, and I think the supporters will be... Uh, very, very happy with that. I'm very proud of their performance tonight because that was one of the best I've seen, me personally, since I've even been at the club. Uh, so it's a credit to them that I have a, I, I don't call it a scratch side. Uh, they've come, I've picked the squad to come. I've had probably four lads who text me uh, around six o'clock, couldn't make them. So we made changes as we went uh, and it worked. Shows that if they have belief in themselves, then they can be among the best of, in, in, in this league. Yeah, I mean, again, it, <laughs> That word belief, it goes with any footballer. Again, I go on about Mukhtar. That Mukhtar kid can be a player. He's just got to keep believing in him. He can't go and have one good game and then four bad, or four average, should I say. Uh, and that goes with any footballer at this level, and we've got to understand what level we're at. But if they take the information on that we're trying to get, then it won't be a problem. Uh, we'll just keep going. We'll enjoy tonight, obviously, uh, and we'll just ourselves down. We'll go for, for the Vars on Saturday against... Uh, 
whoever it is, Bay Cup is it? Yeah, um, and hopefully I have more faces because he only had the 13 tonight, but he can only play with 11 anyway, and 11 tonight was absolutely tremendous. Their keeper uh, produced three, four world-class saves to keep the score down as well. I think he's the best keeper I've seen for a long while, to be fair to the kid. Uh, it's, I can only judge him on from when I've ever played against him, and he's always pulled the stops out tonight, but, you know, again, <laughs> we've opened him up. Um, and we've took our chances, uh, but there was, in, especially in the first half when he's pulled two really good saves off and thinking it's not the same as last year where they go and nick at 1-0. But again, we've given them more information at half-time, we've stuck to our guns the way we were playing, and um, we've passed and moved the ball all over the pitch, and the finishing, like I said earlier on, was sublime. Uh, and to beat a keeper of his quality at times, they have to be decent finishes, and he was. Yeah, must be looking forward to the weekend now then. <laughs> <laughs> I say that every week and something happens, so no. <laughs> I'll just enjoy tonight and then I'll just rest on it tomorrow and see what happens. But uh, again, you know, uh, it's nice to win a game of football and it's one we've run away at Runcorn Town. And I think it's the very first time we've took any points off them, so three to get, I'm happy with.